Hello and welcome to the mixed event, the last in the series brought to you by the British Carp Cups. This is a match with a little bit of a difference. We have one male competitor and one female competitor. There's lots of husbands and wives. There's going to be boyfriends and girlfriends and it's going to be an awesome weekend. I'm sure there'll be the kitchen sink involved. There'll be comfort and there'll be big bivvies. But most of all, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of fish caught. We're here at the beautiful Merrington fishery, a lovely fishery based in the heart of Shropshire with a great head of fish going up to low 30s. And let's hope these guys are going to manage to get a few of those on the bank. So let's head to Lee and Paul who are down there with the anglers and see what's going on. It's the Friday morning of the Mixed Carp Cup Finals. I'm in Swim 7 with Aidy who's a Northern Carp Cup finalist and Amanda who's in a marshal for the BCC events. But today is fishing with Aidy. Tell me your story of how you guys got into this together. Well, I sponsored Amanda with a bait deal at Wetlands in the ladies and just gone from there. Amanda, what made you join with Aidy? He's a nice fella. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a podium in the wetlands, didn't you? I did have a podium, you? So yes. That was close. a great result for you. Fingers crossed. Stealth Aidy. tactics. Yeah, just see how it goes. Bit of bait, take it from there. And the social side of it, I take it you're more relaxed for this event? Yeah, just a bit more, not saying a fun event, but just a bit more laid back. So we're in peg three with Sam and Michael, mixed cup cup final. You happy with your peg? Yeah, pretty good one. Yeah, uh, supposedly uh, quite a good uh, flying peg, so uh, hopefully we'll catch, catch a few this weekend. Be nice. So how did you two sort of get together for this competition then? A little bit of history? Yeah, I run a few charity events and that throughout the year. Uh, Sam entered them and pretty much that's where we met each other and been fishing since. So what sort of fishing background have you had, Sam? Uh, well, I started off like, in my late teens really, just doing a bit of float fishing and stuff with my brothers and uh, yeah, sort of developed into doing a bit more carp fishing and I've just gone from there really. I just uh, all only really carp fish now and uh, probably only go probably about once a month at the most, but you know. There's never enough time to go carp enough. fishing, we is can't there? Get out enough, We've all got busy lives. Totally obsessed, you know, I spend all my day looking at tackle or <laughs> lakes or <laughs> reading magazines and stuff. And Yeah, yeah so you're totally carp obsessed now. Yeah, totally, totally uh, hooked now. So. <laughs> well, good luck for the competition and let's hope you catch a few fish. Thank you very much. So we're just over three hours of the competition gone and we have our first fish to Andy and Lizzie Gregory in peg one. It looks to be a good mirror carp. Mick Coxon from the British Carp Cups there zeroed the scales and he's dropped it on. That is a good carp. That? That 27 one. 27 pound one ounce. What a stunning fish that is and what a great way to start this competition. We're three and a half hours into the competition and I'm standing with Andy and Lizzie in peg one. So guys, you've had the first fish, tell us about it. Well, it's a great result really. You know, three and a half hours in, little solid bag close to the island just out there, produce the first fish. That's it little. and that's put you straight to the top of the leaderboard. Are you confident of some more fish? Yes. The, the problem was because we drew the peg that no one wanted, having walked around the lake and decided we didn't want this one. Of course, because it's, it's an out-the-bag draw. You don't get to choose your swims. You, whatever you choose is where you fish, isn't yeah. it? So I drew the unlucky peg. So it's your fault? My fault. <laughs> Completely my fault. But you still caught a fish. <laughs> However, the plan was that I would play and land the first fish. But because yeah. of the peg, I decided to give that responsibility to Andy in case I lost it. <laughs> and luckily, Andy, you got the fish in. Let's put you to the early lead. So let's see how it goes. There's still a long time to go and anything can happen in this competition. So as we move into the evening, we're in peg 11 with Charlotte and Scott Clark. They've landed their first fish, a beautiful right, mirror carp, 19 pounds, two ounces. And as you can see, Scott is into his second fish. A lot of the anglers are opting to fish with zigs, a method holding the bait off the bottom, high up in the water around the three foot mark on this venue. You can see Scott playing the fish very gently there with the zig goes into the net and that's the second fish for Scott and Charlotte. That's 26, seven, that is, look, just, just one ounce. Yeah? Yep. 
£26.7 ounces goes with their £19.2 two ounces, giving them a total so far of £45.9. But with still a few hours until darkness, I'm sure yeah. this peg is going to do another couple of fish. So the end of our first day and here is our leaderboard and as predicted Charlotte and Scott did land another fish they're now in the lead with three fish for £64.12 ounces. In second place the first fish of the competition going to Lizzie and Andy Gregory that beautiful mirror carp for £27.1 ounce. And in third place, one half of our northern champions, Darren Wilcox and his wife, Laura, with their first fish for £18.11. So here I am in peg five with Laura and Darren. You guys have managed to catch a couple of commons. What have you done? Yeah, well, we just I think we've maybe done things a little bit differently to other people. Um, zigs seem to be the thing on here, and I didn't really fancy putting everything on zigs, so we had a change last night just before dark and went onto solid bags, and we had one just before dark, and then we had that other one this morning which was a lovely fish, £29.1. You've got to be happy with that, the biggest fish of the competition so far and in second place. Yeah, yeah, we'll just try and have a few more and see if we can catch up with first, but second, second's nice, at least we're on the scoreboard. So, back in peg 11 with Charlotte and Scott and they've got their fourth fish on the bank. Are we in that little one with it as well? <laughs> £19.6. £19.6 six ounces and the fourth fish for this pair. I think we need to get Paul around there and find out what these guys have been doing to catch so many fish. Charlotte, Scott, what a great start it's been for you. What's been your game plan? What's been the tactics? Well, basically, I come up here five years ago, practicing with one of my mates, and basically I brought his tactics into my fishing today, as it's worked for me in the past. So we're fishing uh, zigs, average depths between uh, three and four foot deep. So you're staggering them? Staggering them, yeah. Whichever one's getting more takes, and I'll start changing the other rods to it. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they come on both sets of zigs so far, three foot and four foot, so we've just left them as they are at the moment. Are you putting anything over the top? Or? Yeah, we're putting some 15 mil boil over the top. To me, it sounds like a dinner bell. Yeah. It's that plop, isn't it, on the surface? It's that plop. Within a couple of minutes, they're going off, or I'll do it, and then 10 minutes, 20 minutes later, they're going off again. So you've had five carp. The biggest is 26 pound, I believe. Yeah, 26 eight's the biggest so far. We did lose a bigger one on the net cord but that's fishing for you barbless hooks yeah um yeah. So you've lost two actually haven't you oh we've lost a total of three or four now really yeah two at the net and two just in mid water it's a bit of a gravel bar out there and we seem to get stuck on that and i just can't get it over and i've had a few hook pulls but um well that could have extended your lead even further and put yeah. you more or less out of sight <laughs> yeah so we've um changed a few uh hook sizes now on some of the rigs mm -hmm. and it seems the bigger hooks are running them in well, that's great news. And a little birdie told me that you two have only just got married. So why are you fishing the Mixed Carp Cup finals when you could be on your honeymoon? Yeah, basically there's a little story behind this. Uh, five years ago, me and Char got together. After two months of being together, um, Char said, it's time for me to come fishing because you know I'm hooked. <laughs> so me and my partner at the time, Andy Gregory, who's fishing peg one, was on our way up to Merrington for a practice session. And uh, Char had come with me. And ever since, she's one of the fish. So last Saturday we got married and we thought it would be a great uh, opportunity to, as a Mr and Mrs to come fishing to where we all started together. Saturday afternoon at the Mixed Carp Cup final and I'm here with Jemima and Pete. It's been a bit of a gruder for you so far, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a little bit slow, but we've kept trying a few different things, so... Chopping and changing, baits, rigs, 
different colours, different sizes, that sort of thing. Mm, but the mascot hasn't worked for you yet, has it, unfortunately? No, Stephanie <laughs> hasn't really pulled it out of the bag, really. She's, I think she's going to get wet. I think we're going to oh, throw her in her. at the end of this, I reckon. Bless her. So, are you thinking of changing tactics this afternoon? Well, we've got quite a lot of bait left and we're going to probably pile that lot in, sit on that tonight, see what happens. Mm. So, how do you two meet then for this competition? Have you been friends for a long time? A um, couple of years now. Yeah. Well, we met through um, a charity event, Carping for Heroes, that we both fished for. Yeah. And uh, and then we decided we were going to Got fish drunk, this, didn't we? Drunk one night, signed up for this, <laughs> paid our money, took our chance. <laughs> I think it's a 20, but yeah. it's a double. Oh, it's quite bad. I do, mate. It's gone 20. 21 pounds, 7 ounces. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Go, hey, what difference is fish, mate? There we go, Gil. <laughs> well, have we been miserable before? <laughs> I ain't been miserable all weekend. <laughs> so there we go, smiles all round, and the first fish for Sam Hoskins and Michael Litton in peg three. A beautiful mirror cut of 21 pounds, seven ounces, and putting this pair onto the leaderboard. I think that one's ready. <laughs> Did you get that one? <laughs> I was trying to slow it down, it's just I'm off. <laughs> so I'm here with one half of the newlyweds, Scott and Charlotte. Scott, you've extended your lead with another fish. Yeah, it was good to get this 19 pounder in the net um, after previously dropping two before that. So it was nice to go over the cord uh, to give us that little bit of a bigger lead. That's it, you're starting to creep yourself away from the others now. The others got to pull their finger out and start catching some fish to catch you. So have you stayed with the same tactics? I've stayed the same tactics. Uh, Hopefully the carp gods will stay with me and uh, keep producing me uh, some bites and runs. Yeah, and it's a lovely fishery as well, isn't it? Yeah, this is the second time I've fished this fishery now and uh, this has matured so much more since the last time I came up here. The pegs are a lot cleaner. I think Luke's done a really good job. He has. He's also supplying things like unhooking mats, waistlings and landing nets as well now. Yeah, that's a, a really good idea. Obviously it stops all the diseases and makes our kit a little bit lighter when we're lugging around this uh, beautiful lake. So as we move into the afternoon, looking across the pond there at peg 12, we can see Margaret and James Hegarty into their first fish of the competition. Margaret keeping the rod tip high there and using the back winding technique to let the fish have a little bit. That fish looks ready to me. Expertly netted there by James and that pair will be very happy with their first fish of the competition. Mick Coxon with the weigh in. That's 21 pounds. 21 pounds, 9 ounces. Well done. First 20. Well done, yeah. there. 21 pounds, 9 ounces. 21 pounds, 9 ounces, and a first 20 pound fish for Margaret Hegarty. What a great fish to have in a competition. <laughs> I don't know, I have to put it down. Oh, <laughs> well done. So just before the fish is returned, you can see James there, ever caring are the anglers that look after these fish because they want to come back and fish for them again. A small amount of Medicare that is put onto the fish's lip just to aid recovery and to stop any infection. Here we are in peg 12 with James and Margaret. It's Saturday evening and Margaret's just had her fish. Margaret, explain to us. Right. I've had a 21.9 mirror carp. It's a uh, personal best for me. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's been quite hard going, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been, yeah, quite hard going, yeah. It has been a hard match for everybody. Not too many people have caught. Yeah. And obviously, Margaret, tell us your story with fishing. Yeah, uh, well, I've only started fishing this year. I started in April. Um, always accompanied James when he's been, but, um, but I just thought this year I ought to give it a go. A new learning curve, a bit of a different experience, the match scene. Yeah, yeah, no, this, like I say, this is our first match. Um, and uh, You've got to be enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Um, we've, like I said, this afternoon, James has been t telling me how to tie my own rig, showing we've watched, me. We've watched you tie your rigs, we've watched you casting earlier, playing the fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah a whole so, new experience. Yeah, Is yeah. it something you're enjoying? You'll try it again? Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, we'd uh, probably give it another go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. James, the ladies are showing us the way. What, what yeah. are you going to do? Are you going to use yeah. different tactics um, here? Yeah, I'm going to change up a little bit. I mean, uh, locally there's been some fish showing behind us. So, uh, yeah, change a few rigs. Um, still stick with bottom baits. Obviously, it seems to work for Margaret. So, offer a few more freebies out there and uh, see what happens. Well, that's brilliant. It's different tactics to what others are using. Yeah. So, let's hope these guys can catch a few more fish. 
Awesome there to see Margaret catch her very first £20 fish and in a competition putting her and husband James onto the leaderboard. But storming away, Charlotte Clark and Scott Clark with six fish for £112.13. ounces. Moving up into second, Laura and Darren Wilcox taking two fish now for £47.12. And in third position, out of nowhere, Sam Hoskins, Michael Litton, two fish for £43.15. So it's Sunday morning and out of nowhere you two have got onto the leaderboard into third place. What's happened? Well just a few change of tactics yesterday really, been uh, chopping and changing on the zig colours, depths and that. Uh, finally got something right and uh, thankfully Sam managed to put a couple of fish on the board. <laughs> so that you found your winning tactic now, yep. are you confident you can get some more? Yeah I think we can, I mean there's been a couple of fish show this morning so hopefully uh, we've got all four rods on the spots, hopefully one will uh, take the up bait and uh, we can maybe nick second. Yeah. So you've made Sam do all the all the hard work, and you've been been the brains of the operation. Is that right? <laughs> well, pretty much. I'm the brain. She's the brawn. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, Sam and Michael. If you can get another one, it might even knock you up into second place. Yeah. Four really pound in it, so yeah. hopefully it's fingers close. crossed. Yeah, it's close. Well, would you believe it, the finger crossing must have worked because Sam and Michael have landed their third fish of the competition. And with only £4 in it, if this fish is over that, these guys are going to be moving up into second. £17.9. £17.9 called by Mick Cox and that will move them up a position. But will it keep them there? There's still a couple of hours of this competition to go and nothing is over until that hooter sounds. So as we move into the final half hour of the competition, we are in peg four, with runner-up from the ladies' competition, Emily Blake, and her partner, Martin Erlum, landing their first fish of the competition. £16.11. Oh, cheers, mate. How's that? Spot on, mate. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's only small, but it's welcomed. Do you want me to do the thing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there you can have that shot if you want. Yeah, we'll have that. That's a good one. How's that? In love and fishing. Well, here we are in the last few hours of this match. Sam and Michael have managed to get themselves another fish. Sam had two last night, which put them into third. Michael's had one this morning. How big was it, Michael? Uh, it went just over 17 pound. So, as I say, puts it into second and hopefully we can uh, bag another one by the end of it and extend that lead a little bit more. So, have you copied Sam's tactics from yesterday then? Because obviously it's you that's caught this fish. You can't let yourself be shown up. Well, someone has to show someone how to do it and it ain't me, so. <laughs> well, it's great angling by the pair of you. Yep. Let's hope you can catch a few more fish and keep yourself in second. We're into the final few hours now of the Mixed Carp Cup Finals. And I mean, peg 11 with Charlotte and Scott, our leaders. Are you nervous? Yeah, only a few hours left and uh, the people opposite seems to be catching a few now. Twitchy bum time. <laughs> oh, it's getting near that time, isn't it? It is. So have you enjoyed the event, Charlotte? Yeah, I've definitely enjoyed it. I've learnt a lot of things as well, so I'd definitely do it again. You've been learning off the big man here? I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep going, guys, because there's still a few hours left. Oh, steep plugging away, that's all I can do. Chuck a few more baits out and hopefully they'll come back to me. 
Well, with less than 30 seconds of this competition left, it's been an amazing weekend's fishing at Merrington Fishery. We're now in the peg with newlywed Charlotte and Scott Clark as they tentatively now, wait for that final hooter. You are, it's going. Yeah. Yeah. From five. Watch out, five. And there we go, Good that team. is the competition over, and I give you our very first Mixed Pairs champions, Charlotte and Scott Clark. So there we have it, our final standings from what can only be described as an awesome weekend's fishing here at Merrington Fishery. It's the very first Mixed Carp Cup, and I'm sure it's not going to be the last. With the way these competitions are growing, with 18 people already booked in for next year, it's just showing just how many of you at home are getting together and going out fishing. So, without further ado, let's head over to Mick Coxon for the all-important presentation. And runners up spot with three fish for 61 pounds, eight ounces, Samantha Hoskins and Michael Litton. Well done, guys. Now for the first ever Mixed Cork Cup champions with six fish for 112 pounds, 13 ounces, Charlotte and Scott Clark. Well done, guys. Guys, sum this weekend up. Oh, I'm just lost for words. It's absolutely buzzing. We never win anything. We had a good draw, and our tactics worked. Fantastic wedding present. And now you can go on your honeymoon to celebrate. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>